When I push this button, a beam of pure energy will be blasted into a vitreous solid full of uranium. It probably sounds like something out of a bad novel, but that's exactly what just happened. See, this antique candlestick is made of uranium glass. It absorbs ultraviolet light and re-emits it at a lower wavelength, causing something that we call either ultraviolet fluorescence or ghostly spook light. I may have made up that second one, but for centuries, the entire point of including uranium in glass was to give it that eye-catching tint and that haunting glow. Even before we knew what uranium was, European glassmakers were using a mineral called pitchblende to color their wares. And as a guy named Martin Klaproth discovered in 1789, pitchblende is uranium ore. Give me a second to explain that. Ore is spelled O-R-E in this case. You can think of an ore as being the raw, unprocessed form of a metal, as opposed to O-A-R, which is used in a rowboat. They sound exactly the same, but the difference in how they're written is important. It's just like awe and awe. The one that's spelled A-W is an exclamation but the one that's spelled A-W-E refers to a feeling of fear or wonder. They're not quite complete opposites, but they do involve very different reactions. Oh. I said aw, A-W-E. Anyway, uranium glass reached the height of its popularity in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, which was right around the time when radioactivity was discovered. That prompted a whole snake oil industry to crop up, although the quacks in question mainly told people to drink radium. Uranium stayed in glass, and people today love to collect antique examples of the stuff. But the thing is, a lot of what those people find isn't actually uranium glass at all. This candlestick glows under an ultraviolet light, but its color in normal light is completely wrong. That's because it was made with manganese, not uranium. There are actually a half dozen different types of fluorescing glass, and they come in a broad range of tints and hues. Now, as I implied, uranium is radioactive, so you might infer that I'm being irradiated right now. Imply is like whisper, and infer is like deduce. You can't infer something to someone else, you can only imply it. The thing is, as long as you don't eat it, most uranium glass is completely safe. There are a few rare exceptions, but an antique item like this little dish only gives off a tiny bit more radiation than a standard issue banana. Yeah, if you didn't know, bananas are radioactive, and they also give off antimatter. The point is that uranium glass is effectively harmless, and you don't even need a special flashlight to appreciate it. There's enough ultraviolet light and sunlight to make uranium glass glow. Although the flashlight certainly helps while you're searching through thrift stores. If you're interested in uranium glass, here's a toast to you finding some. May its ghostly spook light illuminate your life and prompt feelings of awe.